everyone, it's Abby. This is my first video intro since moving to Wales in the UK. I've been slowly getting my craft room up and running. Once I have it where I want it, maybe I'll do a little tour or something. I made a sleeveless Spencer from this light green silk that I had, and I had some left over from the project. I love finding uses for smaller pieces of silk fabric, so today we're going to make a Regency silk bonnet out of the scraps. I've made a Regency bonnet before, but this time I really wanted to make something out of fabric rather than just covering it in flowers. So let's take a look at how I made it. I have a new microphone that I'm working with, so please bear with me if there's a bit of variation in the sound while I dial it in. Like my previous bonnet, I started with a thrifted straw hat with a wide brim. I cut out my fabrics and ribbons to see what I wanted to use to create this hat. The green silk will be the main part of the bonnet crown, and the sheer wall that I found on Amazon will cover the inner part of the brim. To start, I figure out how I want to cut the hat to create my shape. I draw the shape on using a sharpie. I cut out the hat along the line I created, leaving a bit extra so I can wrap it around to hide edges later. I check the shape on my wig head to see if I got it looking how I want. I trim off a bit more to make it symmetrical. I removed a bit from the leftover straw piece. I'm going to use this to create a neck shape like I've seen on extant bonnets. I trimmed off the excess. I realized that I wouldn't need that if I'm adding this neck piece. I pinned the piece to the bottom of the bonnet and grabbed my thick brown thread. I'm using a leather needle for this as I find it goes through the straw easier. I sew the neck piece to the main bonnet. I trim the excess from the inside. I sew an extra strip across the cut edges to hide them. I measure around the crown of the bonnet and compare to my silk piece. I'm testing the fabric to see how it'll fit. I want to gather it and want to see how tall to make it. I 
I doubled my silk and used a rotary cutter to cut the pieces to 9 inches tall. I measure and trim off the end of my piece. I measure the length of my other ribbon tails. I want to make ribbon out of my silk fabric. I cut the scrap on the bias, then I start cutting 2 inch strips to create my ribbon. The silk on the bias won't fray. I line up and machine sew the bias ribbon pieces together, quarter inch from the edge. Machine sew up thinner bias strips to create bias binding. I machine sew the long silk piece up to create a tube. I press the silk ribbon seams flat and trim the bits off the edges. I press the sides in to create my silk bias binding. I trim and press my main bonnet fabric seam and the rest of the fabric as well. I hand fell the bonnet fabric seam using the matching silk thread pulled from the same fabric.
I hand whip stitch down the ribbon raw edges so they won't fray. Using a scrap of the green silk, I pin it to the neck piece to cover the straw. I hand sew that in place using thick thread. I trim the excess from the edges, leaving a little for turning under. I pin the sheer wall along the brim of the bonnet, pleating as I go. This isn't very precise, but it works. I have it all pinned on. I trim all the excess fabric, leaving enough to hide on the inside. I then begin to hand stitch the fabric to the brim. I trim the extra fabric away. I get out my floral wire and cut a double length. I twist this length together. Now I'm going to add the bias tape to the whole edge of the bonnet. I open it up and pin all along the edge. I hand sew the edge of the tape to the bonnet edge.
Once the one side was sewn down, I wrapped the bias around the edge and sewed the other side in place, encapsulating the wire along the bonnet edge. Using the edge of my ironing board and my iron, I flatten the edge of the bonnet to create a better shape. I run a gathering stitch along the edge of my silk fabric. I gather and fold the raw edges to the inside as I go. I sew through all the gathers to anchor it on the inside. I cut a small circle to cover the gathered crown. I fold under the raw edges and pin in place. I hand whip stitch that to the crown. I add a pin to the top so I know where the halfway point is. I fold under the raw edge and run a gathering stitch around the whole edge. I pin the gathered edge all along the crown of the bonnet, distributing the gathers as I go. I hand sew that to my bonnet all along the gathered edge. Using a bit of white linen I have, I cover the inside of the bonnet, covering up raw edges. I 
I trim and fold under the edges along the seam line and pin in place. I add some pleats where needed to get this to fit in there. I hand whip stitch that in place. The final step is to cover the gathered edge with my ribbon. I pin it in a few places to keep the ribbon on, then I cut the extra bit of tail to make sure the ends line up. I thought about adding a contrasting ribbon or some bows. I chose to just add some bows. I used the extra bit of ribbon to create two bows for each side. I hand sew those together. and sew those to the edge of the bonnet to anchor the ribbon in place at the same time. Thank you for joining me today as I made a Regency bonnet out of silk scraps. I love having matching accessories to my various Regency outfits. This one will match quite a few of the items I have. Stay tuned for more as I work on my backlog videos and work on new projects in my space in Wales. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing!